the burnout that veterinarians have and the high suicide rate that they like everything that goes along with being a veterinarian today. Um, I know personally the veterinarian I had mm. in San Diego, I was close enough to her that we talked about like her business and she couldn't handle, like she just couldn't handle learning something new. I talked to her so many times about, um, you know, in, adding in some holistic modalities mm into her practice and she's like, I know you're right. And, and I see it's working in your pets, but I don't have the time. And like I, I spent, she literally was working in her practice and couldn't work yeah. on her practice for, you know, 12 to 14 hours a day, six days a week. And um, the burnout that veterinarians have, but if they could just make that little shift, when you, when you, when you work with animals, to help them be healthy and vital and hopefully don't get all of these diseases on down the road. Like it's, it's like with anything else, I think you put a little, a little bit more effort in up front and you get that payoff in the end. And I think the, the relationship that people can have with their veterinarians will, will change dramatically too, because, you know, well, of course right now there's also that, you know, People, people have to realize that you get what you pay for. And, and, you know, a lot of people want all kinds of pet services for free. <laughs> um, and that's unfortunate because, like, this is how you make a living. This is how I make a living, right? <laughs> like, this is, I'm trying to pay my bills just like you are. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, it, like, outside of that, when people can actually see, like, this person is actually helping my pet and see changes and see their pet getting healthier. I mean, to me, that's priceless, but I think that that can change the vet an individual person as a veterinarian, yeah. change their life. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I can just see, see the vision. <laughs> yeah. Well, alongside that, I mean, this is the hard part because there's not enough veterinarians. It's getting worse. The, for one thing, just be kind to people too. Like, I think that's a big thing. Even oh, if yeah. you're not super happy with your vet, they're, just, they're probably struggling, to be honest. They're, you know, they have 15 minute appointments. They've got back to back corporations are buying out vet clinics and they're making you hit numbers. Huge reason why I left conventional to start my own business. I was like, I can't practice good medicine in 15 minutes. And so, you know, just remember to be kind and have some patience, even though it can be frustrating. But the other reason why, too, is, I mean, for one, we saw an increase in pets. But two, if we're not applying these principles, pets are getting sicker. Mm -hmm. They're not getting healthier. And that's a problem. And they're also getting harder to heal. So now this overwhelmed, stressed out vet who already has a full schedule now has 10, 15 emergencies on top of that because there's a severe ear infection. This dog has blowout diarrhea. Like all mm -hmm. these things now start piling on top and it's a broken medical system. That's the cause of it. So the root issue of that problem is how are we training veterinarians? Oh yeah. And sure. that's a huge, I mean, this is obviously could be a topic for another thing, but it's, it's one of those things where the root issue of the problem for the human health and the, the pet side too, is what are we teaching them in school? Because if you're actually training them appropriately to look at your pet as a whole, and we're actually training them that fresh food doesn't actually have to kill your pet, um, if you do it appropriately, then now it's a different situation. You have vets that feel empowered coming out, and they're able to implement from day one those tools, that knowledge, and you don't have to learn a new skill set. Very different. That's where it changes. And so, and then we have healthier pets. We have people that are actually trained to to actually identify the the real issue and assess it and do the right diagnostics and not just guess and not just, you know, a pill for every ill and keep having them come back. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, your vet does not enjoy seeing, right. they probably love seeing you mm -hmm. and your pet. But they don't love seeing you every week for that ear infection that won't go away. They're not doing that for money. They're not making any money off that, I promise you. It's frustrating for everyone. And it's just that there's not, the tools that are necessary for them to change that yeah. because it the root like issue was the education at the vet school. Veterinary school. You know, it's, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
go up against the people <laughs> funding vet school. Yeah, <laughs> so for sure. that's the problem right there. The Where's the funding? So, you know, I, that's, the, that's the hard part is there's, you know, there's bigger overarching things, but if we really truly wanted to get to the root of it and change the system, that's where it has to change. And I mean, we're doing the best we can, which is good. And there's a lot of online education now that a lot of us are doing to help help reach more people because there's not enough of us, but at least we can give people the tools. And then also it helps you feel good that, you know, if your dog does get diarrhea, you have the tools and the knowledge yeah, to like stay out of the vet clinic absolutely. and avoid I those know. vet I'm, visits. Like, like I was bills. saying, um, I was that person that was constantly in my vet's office with my cats. And um, I thought that meant that I was a good pet parent you know, because I was going and I was doing all the things. And now I'm like, I don't need to go to the vet. <laughs> like, I can handle this. We're good. Like, I know what to do if, <laughs> if her eye's a little weepy or if my dog has a little bout of diarrhea. Like, I know what to do. I'm good. I don't need to be <laughs> going in the vet's office forever for every little thing. Um, 